What's up guys, today I'm going to be walking you through the Spring Fling 2021 event questline, which surprisingly actually has good rewards. Completing the quest in this event will provide you with many of the materials required to craft the recently reworked Chloromancer class. In addition to the guaranteed quest rewards, you also have a chance to receive some other rare drops as drops from event enemies. This video will have timestamps in the description with the titles of every quest in this event in case you want to jump to a specific part of the quest line. Also, I apologize for the menu UI looking different at the beginning. The initial part of this recording was done without any mods installed, so things might look a bit different throughout the video. It's important to note too that you need to be Mastery Level 10 to do this event, so on the off chance that you're not already Mastery 10, you won't be able to start the event quests. For the first step of the quest line, you have to talk to the duck NPC on the east side of the hub, which will reward you with 25 dragon coins. The next step requires you to throw 10 spring flingers, so buy one set of 10 of any color from the NPC duck store and throw them all to receive 650 mushroom chunks. After throwing 10 spring flingers, you have to defeat 10 wasp spiders in the medieval highlands, which requires you to have more spring flingers. So I just bought two sets of 10 in case my game crashes or something else happens after throwing one. And now, head over to the medieval highlands and start looking for the event wasp spiders. When you come across these wasp spiders, you'll notice you basically deal zero damage to them with your normal attacks. In order to break the shield to allow you to actually do damage, throw a spring flinger at them and wait for your bee to destroy the wasp spider's shield. Once the shield is destroyed, you can actually deal damage to the wasp spider. Repeat this process until you've killed 10 wasp spiders to receive 25 bound brilliance and move on to the next step of the quest line. This step is pretty easy since all you have to do is just clear 15 dungeons. I personally wanted to farm Geode topside for this part of the quest, but you can complete whatever dungeons you'd like at any difficulty level. After completing 15 dungeons, you'll receive 1,100 sunlight bulbs. The next part of the quest line is to collect 30 enchanted wood, so head over to the Fey Forest biome and run around collecting all of the enchanted wood that you need. Lucky for me, I have a Neon Ninja, which I'll have a build guide in the next week or so on the channel, so look forward to that. Uh, and the Neon Ninja can run around at light speed to collect these pretty quickly. But if you're stuck with just using a mount, keep in mind you can collect enchanted wood by simply walking over it while on your mount. Also, if you're on PC and want the mod that I'm using that gives enchanted wood a waypoint, I'll link my Steam Workshop page in the description of this video with all of the mods that I use. Once you've collected 30 enchanted wood, it's back to killing more wasp spiders. So if you're running low, go buy more spring flingers from the duck in the hub and return to the medieval highlands. This part took me a while even despite having a super fast neon ninja build, so just keep in mind that this quest in particular might take you a decent chunk of time. After killing 20 more wasp spiders and receiving the spring bloom mount, it's time for the most difficult part of the event. Claim the spring bloom mount from your claims menu, then equip the mount and ride it. That's it. Doing this will grant you two chaos cores and immediate disappointment as you realize the mount that you just received is incapable of moving and therefore is completely useless. The last quest in the event is very vague and doesn't really explain what you need to do to complete it. In all honesty, you might want to even consider just skipping this quest if you don't plan on farming the event itself. To complete the last quest in the event, keep killing wasp spiders until you get a rare drop from them. I personally had to kill around 25 to 30 wasp spiders until I got a banner that counted as a rare drop and completed the quest. Now that you've completed the Spring Fling event quests, you can call it quits here or you can continue farming the event to get more rare drops. At the time of recording I've only gotten two different rare drops. The first rare drop that I've seen is the B for banner banner style. The stats are pretty much useless on this banner, but the style is pretty nice. It's also tradable, which is a plus. The second rare drop that I've received is the Lil Wasp Spider. The stats aren't good, but it's a neat little ally. Unfortunately though, the Lil Wasp Spider isn't tradable, so if you want it, you're going to have to farm for it. There's also two even rarer tradable drops, the Jade Bloom Mount and the Bee Buddy Ally. That's how it's typed out, so that's how I had to say it, I apologize. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten either of these yet though, so I won't be showcasing them in-game but at the very least, I can show screenshots of them listed in the marketplace. Also, something strange to note is that the Jade Bloom Mount as of right now is listed as the Spring Bloom Mount in the marketplace, 
when the actual mount name is Jade Bloom. I'm assuming though that they'll probably fix that in a hotfix relatively soon, so I wouldn't worry about that. And honestly, it might even be changed by the time I get the video out, so we'll see. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hopefully this covered everything you needed to know about the event. If this video helped you out, be sure to like and subscribe as I'll likely be doing more event videos for future events. If you have any tips or questions about the event, be sure to let me know in the comments. I'm still insanely new to making Tro videos, so I'd be happy to hear any feedback on the quality of these videos. I have a few video series ideas for Trove that will probably start in the next week or two, so look forward to that. That's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.